The real reason why Adults Adopting Adults was canceled by A&E might actually surprise you because it did me and to be honest, I'm not really sure if I believe it. So the other day I uploaded a video about a TV show on A&E called Adults Adopting Adults. This isn't adoption, this is trafficking. I don't believe he has fatherly adoptive intentions. You'll be able to meet this man on national television later this year and hear his story from his lips. We gotta talk about this. This is really messed up. I most certainly am very, very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. And I see her as my daughter. If you guys didn't watch it, I'll link it up there. This show showed some very disturbing things that when everybody saw it, they were completely shocked. I don't think there was one person that watched the couple, Christy and Danny, and the situation with them trying to adopt a 20 year old pregnant girl from Austria. I don't think anybody watched that and thought, oh, this is normal and not weird at all and totally fine. It's following them along the process of adopting one woman, but this wasn't the first time he attempted to adopt somebody. The first time he attempted to adopt somebody was an 18 year old teenage girl. Adult adoption came to my attention when a young 18 year old girl came and bought a puppy from us. Her father had passed away years before and I just felt a need to help her in some way. Unfortunately, I could not pursue that first young lady because I actually started having feelings for her. She was a very beautiful young lady. Basically every single person that saw the way that this Danny man spoke was just as disturbed and weirded out as I was. If you're unaware of what was going on, basically the show was about adults adopting adults, which is exactly what it sounds like. But the couple on there, Christy and Danny, adopting this pregnant girl, Ileana, really raised some questions in people's heads of if this was actually adoption or if this was human trafficking. And then A&E pulled the entire show off the air after only three episodes. And I believe there was gonna be 10 episodes. So there were seven more episodes to go and they took it off at episode three. Now the thing that was strange was that they didn't just stop airing the new episodes. They pulled it from all the streaming services so that you couldn't even stream it anymore. People that had it recorded on their DVRs, it was taken out of the recording. So of course, when the show just completely disappears, there's no A&E statement about why it disappears. It's just gone from existence. And even people's recordings of it were taken away kind of makes you wonder why did you cancel it especially seeing Danny not only him being incredibly creepy with this pregnant girl Ileana but also posting a very racist TikTok and you know those things you can't help but assume that they pulled the show because of Danny he was very controversial and everybody was talking about it and everybody was weirded out by him and people were even really weirded out by his wife because even though she was obviously really hurt and in a really awful situation with her husband who clearly treated her like crap. There are even people saying that she was being a bystander to this situation. She was being a bystander to human trafficking. So even though at this point, A&E specifically has not put out a statement, Variety reported that they could allegedly confirm that A&E canceled the show due to low ratings. Some people would probably hear that and just think, okay, A&E canceled it. I'm gonna move on with my life. But when I read that, if that's true, true. I have some questions. The first thing I want to mention, I'm pretty sure when you film a show like this, there's a lot of money involved and you probably want to get that money back. So the fact that there were however many episodes left of this show that were edited and ready to go, that's a lot of man hours. That's a lot of money that they just didn't want any of it back at all. Like normally when you cancel a show, unless something really bad happens, you still finish the season. And I don't work in that industry, but as a viewer, that's what I've noticed is that they'll still finish the season. This was a different situation because it got pulled off after three episodes. A lot of times shows, they take a little bit to kind of like kick off, they take some time to catch steam. And then my other question with that is that this one had low ratings, but like everybody's talking about it. Like everybody's like, what's going on with this Danny guy? Especially now, there are so many people that wanna finish that show that can't. So many people that wanna watch it that can't. I even had people comment on my other video that I made about this that wanted to see the other families, but they can't watch it because they removed it. So my question is if you chose to cancel the show because it had really low ratings, why didn't you just finish 
the rest of the season. Obviously, shows get pulled for numerous reasons. There could be a show over here that actually has pretty decent ratings that they cancel. And then a show over here that's ratings are terrible that it gets canceled. Shows get canceled all the time and there's always fans that are mad that the show got canceled. There's always people that were really enjoying something. But this is a different situation because there was some stuff going on that was really, really suspicious. Now here's my other question. Not only did they not finish the season, other shows that they've canceled are still streamable. Just a few of their shows to mention that have been canceled are Bad Ink, Born This Way, Fit to Fat to Fit, and Manhunters. All of those shows have been canceled, but you can still watch all of them. They're not removed. They're not hard to find. And I'm pretty sure every other network works the same, right? Like when they cancel a show, they still leave it up so that you can watch it. There's so many shows that have been canceled, not just reality TV, but you can still stream them. Like I don't think there's that many people that are going and watching some of these shows but they're still leaving them up to stream. But I'm supposed to just like be like, okay, you just canceled Adults Adopting Adults that was really creepy and appeared to be that you guys filmed human trafficking and I'm just supposed to accept that you canceled it because it had bad ratings. I don't know guys. I'm hoping they're not trying to brush some under the rug, but it feels really weird. Now, Danny was asked to comment on the situation with the show being pulled from the air by the Daily Beast. And he did, he had a few things to say. And what he said was that the inappropriate behavior against him was absolutely false. He said, I never had any inappropriate actions, words, comments, anything to her. What do you want this thing to say? Well, I don't know. What would you want it to say? If it was my poster, I'd want it to say, welcome to Ohio, where's my blowing, but. <laughs> You knew what I was Why are you gonna be say? such a freak show? Why are you always Where such a freak show? Where are the half naked girls? <laughs> we are so happy you're here. <laughs> I gotta get another hug. <laughs> Ileana needs me. I couldn't be happier. I had to wait for my hug. I love her to death. I tell her that I love her and it's an appropriate love. And you know, I call her my daughter. I've been doing that since before she actually got here. I would protect this young lady until the day I die. The bond was already there. It's only gotten stronger. Most certainly am very, very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. This is a delicate subject, but so far I have not thought of her as a beautiful woman. She is. So Danny denies that he's the reason that he was canceled. But here's the thing, A&E has still not made a statement. They haven't said anything. Variety said they can confirm that it was canceled due to low ratings. I don't know how true that is. So everywhere else is kind of spreading that as well, that it was canceled due to low ratings. But I think A&E needs to say something because this is not just a situation where their show had bad ratings and they took it off. Like this is a situation where you're being accused of filming human trafficking by a lot of people. Not me, I'm not saying I'm doing that. Everything in this video is allegedly, don't come for me. But a lot of people are saying you're filming some really bad stuff. And not only that, you were filming somebody on your show that posted really racist things on his TikTok. You should probably come out and make a statement about that. I don't know guys, I'm really weirded out by this situation. I'm weirded out that A&E has not said anything about this, yet it's kind of a big deal. Like they've had some very sus shows like Love After Lockup. Some of the things they filmed on that were just, I was just kind of watching like, but the fact that they're not really addressing this, <sighs> not sure it sits well with me. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think down below. Are you as like, come on now guys, about the fact that they removed it from everything. Like I've never seen a show get canceled in the middle of the season and then tore off of everything. Like we don't want anybody watching this. My theory allegedly for entertainment purposes only is that it was getting a bad rep really quickly. They saw the things that people were saying about it, the questions that it was bringing up and they decided to remove it before it got too crazy. That's my personal opinion allegedly for entertainment purposes only. I think that they saw that it was going in a bad direction and wanted to put out the fire before the fire got too big, allegedly. 
I wanted to give you guys this update because you guys seem to be really curious about this as much as me and I want to let you know this is what's out about it. If you guys enjoy my content, I have another channel called More Kyla where I post More Kyla. <laughs> There's lots of other videos over there that I would be thrilled if you guys would go subscribe. And also I have members content on this channel. And if you guys become a member of this channel and not only help support me in creating this content for you guys, but you get extra content from me that is members only. I share things over there that maybe I wouldn't post publicly and it's just a nice little space and you also get your own special icon so every time you comment on one of my videos I'll show everybody that you're a member of my channel and it means a lot to me so make sure you guys join if you would like to and if not at least subscribe to my other channel that'd be pretty cool I'll be seeing you guys very soon for another video